Hi! Uh, I know it's been forever since I've filmed the video and I'm so sorry. There'll be another video that will have gone up not long before I posted this one. I'm gonna film this, post the other one, edit this one and hopefully post this tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna catch up. I have plans. It just... my plans require going to the zoo and I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to do that anytime soon. It's just that I, I have specific things I want to film. I have a plan and it's gonna be properly scripted and I don't know, I guess you'll find out later. <laughs> yeah. For the last 12 weeks I've been on this. Can you see that? There you go. Which is the Princess Trust team program. And it's been absolutely amazing. We finished last Friday. The team program has all of these things involved. A different thing more or less every week. The f first week is meeting everybody. Second uh, week you go on a residential trip. We went to the Lake District. I filmed a decent amount there. You'll see some of it. You you'll have seen some of it in the video before. The third week we did a community project which we had to organise fundraising, find somewhere that would let us do a project for them and then go and do the fundraising, go and do the project and that was over three weeks. It was amazing. The first week was fundraising, the second week were, we were at a care home clearing out all of the downstairs because the basement was an absolute tip. There was stuff in there from that was probably older than some of the rest. <laughs> we decided they were treasures and every now and then Nick would come running up the corridor just be like, Beth, Beth, I find you some more treasures to go through. Third week of that we were at the YMCA allotment cleaning all that up for them because it hadn't been used since like last summer and walls had fallen down and there wasn't a fence. They, were, they wanted a compost heap building and the ground needed turning over and de-weeding and we were there for four and a bit days and we got so much done, it was insane. The week after that we got ourselves work placements and for two weeks we all went off on work placements. I did writing for the disabled and a doggy daycare centre. Week nine was all about planning for the future so we did a few CV things, we had a few different workshops, first aid, we did some cooking. Weeks 10 to 11 was the team challenge. Again we had a week to fundraise and then we did three separate events on three separate days with three different groups. Uh, Bansley Blind and Partially Sighted Association, which they were really nice to us, they really appreciated the help. We ran a social club they do for them, did bingo and made sandwiches and cups of tea. Uh, the next day we came back and they did a, they, they ran a sight awareness course for us. We, we went up to the Bansley Hospice Warehouse where they get all of their donations in and sort through them all and we bought fish and chips for everybody that volunteers there. What else did we do? Oh yeah, that's why I can't remember because I wasn't there for this one, I went on holiday. They also went to a nursery and ran a musical instrument making cl uh, session for them. And then the last week, week 12, was all about planning for our presentation. We went to the local rugby club and we delivered a presentation in front of all our friends and family and everybody that had helped us along the way. And Frankly, it was nerve-wracking. I did two speeches. I hate public speaking. I keep putting myself through it, but I hate public <laughs> speaking. Because there's one thing talking to a camera, but it's a completely different thing talking to 50-odd people, most of which you don't know. I tried my damnedest to keep my speeches as short as possible because I knew if I kept it short and I practiced it enough, I could do it all right and I'd sound half decent and it'd be fine. And I did it! And I'm quite proud of myself because I'm terrified of things like that. And then the last day, we finished off our booklets. By about half eleven we were all finished. So we sat around and messed about a bit and then we walked down the road to Pizza Hut. If you're thinking about doing the Princess Trust Cop uh, team programme, or any of the other Princess Trust programmes, I don't know what any of the others are like. It's, it's worth it. It's a hard 12 weeks, it's not easy, but it's a lot of fun. A chance to do things that you've never done before 
and if you don't get anything else out of it, it's a qualification. The, these last 12 weeks have been amazing. I've done things that I never would have done before, even with scouts. And I'm not talking about the residential, because like, I've done all of that stuff before. But it was... Oh, it was amazing. And I've made some absolutely fantastic friends, who hopefully will be my friends for a very long time. Hopefully forever. So I would recommend it 100%. It's so worth all of the hard work. It's proved to me that I'm more capable than I thought I was. And my self-esteem's taken a boost because I know that I can do it and I know that people genuinely do like me. Like, I keep saying it and Bex, every time I say it, she's like, no, it's true. People really do like you. Oh, it's been fantastic. I would do it again if I could. So you guys should go and do it for me. Like I said, I have other videos planned out that hopefully I'll be able to do in the next few weeks. I have another job now, so all, all I'm waiting for is my first paycheck to come through. So I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, I don't know, follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm gonna film another video. I promise I will. If you see that I'm going to the zoo, that's because I'm filming a video.